Today, Unrunico has 30 levels. He enchants a diamond sword. Not bad, but also kind of bad. Wow, the mushroom block looks so cool from here. During sunset, or is it sunrise? Sunset. Like off in the distance, behind the trees. Just notice that. <laughs> Another diamond helmet? Why not? Why not? Come on, give me something new. Please. 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 No, come back. Please. 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 Yes. Well. Yes. This will lead to further cool things. And this guy. Wait, is it this guy? Yeah, this guy already went through the gold trade, so. <sighs> That's nice. I don't have to worry about that coming up later. In other news, I'm hoarding my slime balls like a madman now because of what Jeb said like two days ago about the slime storage blocks. Oh man, I can't wait. Another sword? Why not? Because that's why actually no, Smite Smite 4 is good. Good for the nether. Yes indeed. So yeah, this is episode four now of Runico Plays on Flat Core. Um, welcome. <laughs> uh, hopefully today we'll continue building some cool stuff and have some fun. to make um, I am finally moving all my stuff from the roof to a dedicated storage area and I currently have on me all my diamond things and 30 levels once more because that's always a great idea to carry all your valuables at the same time in hardcore okay here it goes diamond picks Diamond axes, which I finally got. Diamond swords. Diamond shovels. And diamond hose. Awesome. Wait, let's put this here. Okay, so here's the storage area. Um, I haven't labeled it yet. I plan on. Uh, where is it? I plan on grabbing some. Uh, frames and then place them on the chest so I can see where the stuff is. But basically, here's the wood, here's um, dirt and gravel, here's stone things, and here's things made out of wood and some other stuff. Um, I put the food up in the loft here as well as the mob loot. But yeah, there's the carrot farm under this little roof. Uh, stairs to go up. Um, this goes down into the animal pens. I'm still working on this section of the house. It looks ugly. But here I have a little patio, I guess, where the storage area is. And then here I want to have a chicken farm, but not like a automatic one or anything, just one that collects eggs just for this little base 
and then they'll, they'll go down into here. And then I'm still working on this horse stables. So need to add the cobble underneath. But yeah, I think it's coming along really nice. So um, I should enchant something to, with these uh, 30 levels. So oh man. let's see. And I'm going to do another sword because I would like to get looting. That would be nice. Oh, there must be a torch somewhere. Here? Yep, okay. Sharpness 4. Well, um, that was not as good as I hoped. But, once I wear this down, I could combine these two and get Shark and Spike Sword, which is nice, I guess. I'll take it. I don't mind. levels and that only took like four minutes maybe. <laughs> uh oh, I don't have any more food. <laughs> okay, so I decided I wanted to keep my vast supply of seeds outside next to the farm, so I am making a little shackety, shackety do thingy, which I don't know what to call it, but yeah, uh, this thing. Uh, wait, no. Yes? No? This is how I build. Nobody's watching. Literally no idea what I'm doing. But somehow it turns out the way I want. Ta-da! Okay, and for the chests. Um, I think I didn't think this through very well. I need to expand this by one. Perfect. 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 And um, another set of chests goes here, and voila, there you go, that wasn't so hard, little shack for the seeds, I think it works, I like it. The roof looks so naked without the chests, but that's a good thing. Finally, have everything stored up in here. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, the house is finished. I spent several hours working on it, um, trying to fix the roof, make it connect to different places, adding more things, more rooms and things like that and it's finished uh there's currently three entry points to the villager holding area here this is an inverted door meaning this is how it looks when it's closed and this is how it looks when it's open but to us or to players it looks closed and to zombies it looks open but they can't get through here is the villager holding area. I moved the gen table to here. Uh, there's another door right there that's also inverted. Two buffer zones. This is a two block cap, but it's um, lifted, I guess, half a block up. So villagers don't actively try to go through these, but they can get pushed through. And uh, here's where the villagers are. This is the patio, they usually hang out here. 
Okay, and um, there's a latch, a roof, a trapdoor access here. And if you go through here, there's a patio overlooking the sheep, the uh, entrance here. And um, I took out the hole here to the storage area because it looked ugly. So I just made pillars here. Oh, and I forgot to put the pillar. It's all right, I'll do it. And then, so yeah, this is the animal pen. And um, I also have some changes for the storage area as well. I added more chests along this side. And basically, that's it. The house is finished. I think it looks alright. So, uh, from now on, we could I could move on to my next base. Uh, pick out a spot somewhere around here for the netherrack builds. But until next time, goodbye, and uh, see you later.